What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for the Sunday fun day this week. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Hope you're going to join us tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget, we're talking a ton of recruiting. Me, Jeff, and Sean are going to talk about the players we're really interested in in this 24 class mostly, um, offense, defense, whatever. Um, we're going to give you our, our uh, two cents on everybody. We're going to run through the targets, the commits, the offers, all that stuff. So um, don't forget, 8 p.m. Eastern, if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll get notified and all that stuff. So still thinking about that uh, live show every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. Probably going to do it. The trick is coming up with something to talk about every day. Twice a day, because I'll still do the daily blitz, right? Anyways, that's your job. You guys figure it out. I don't know. Tell me what to talk about. We'll let the chat kind of dry the show as long as uh, they're decent questions, but we'll see. Mm. Excuse me. All right. Let's get into it. Got to hydrate. You know, to start a Sunday fun day, right? You got to hydrate early. Then get into the sauce and the fun stuff, all right? So just word of advice, I'm trying to help. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Uh, we're talking defense recruiting in this 2024 class. we got some updates. we got some visits that have changed. We got some huge news here. So check it out. Uh, we have two players committed, two out of 13 on the defense. I know you guys feel my pain. I go through the, go through this every fucking day, don't I? Anyways, so the coaches hit the road this week for uh, in-person evaluations. They can stop in and see guys, watch guys practice and all that shit. So um, let's talk top priorities, difference makers. Um, we got some big, big-time guys leaving the program after this year. How many? We don't know yet, obviously. You could probably – gather a handful at least that you're sure are gone. And then what about those third year guys that pop, you know, and, and uh, get a, get a good uh, NFL grade. So big names are going to be leaving. We got a lot to reload on the defensive side of the ball uh, all over the, all over the freaking board. Um, so you could be looking at a class of 14 to 15 players here, depending on, you know, how Ryan day wants to load up the offense, of course, but, you know, 14, 15 dudes on defense is, is good. Um, so we've got a change here. Linebacker Sammy Brown, best mullet perm I've ever seen. The merm, the moule, whatever you want to call it, Kentucky waterfall. It is exquisite. I hope he never cuts it. Please don't change, Sammy. Uh, anyways, he changed his date for his official visit. So this is key. Um, he's the five-star He's going to take his official visit June 23rd to the 25th instead of the 16th to the 18th. So he's moving back a week. And remember, he's a 6'2", 230-pound guy from Georgia. Uh, you got uh, Georgia, Clemson, Tennessee all in the mix there. So he's going to visit Oklahoma also in the mix the week of the 16th and 18th through the 18th. So what – What's good about that is you got Tennessee to get in their visit May 20th, Clemson June 2nd, Georgia June 9th, Oklahoma the 16th to the 18th. Buckeyes get that last and most important, most impactful visit for Sammy Brown. That's key. That's a big deal. So definitely taking uh, three linebackers in this class. All right. You got Garrett Stover, Peyton Pierce. That's our that's it. That's the list. So taking a third linebacker for sure. Um, who else here? Let, oh, DN. Let's talk Marquise Lightfoot. 6'5", 220. I was going to sing for you, but, you know, Marquise Lightfoot just sounds like a an old R&B singer from the 70s or something. So a little Motown action. But he's from Chicago. 6'5", 220, four-star uh, Larry Johnson stopped in, visited him at high school, at school this week. Um, he had a recent trip to USC. Buckeyes are battling Michigan and Notre Dame along with USC and some others. Um, he's only visited Ohio State once, but has an official visit set for June. I'm going to hit the, the official visit schedule coming up at the end um, of this podcast. Um, Buckeyes missed on – we know we talked about this shit. 
still digs in my ribs. Uh, we missed on three five-star DNs in the 23 class. So we got to, got to take advantage in this class. And honestly, we offer some early playing time <laughs> across the D-line, right? I mean, theoretically, you could lose JT, Jack, Tyleek, Mike Hall. That's four four spots, and those are starters. And all you have is Kenyatta and Amari and, and Kane Curry at the, at the ends, you know, Ty Hamilton. Uh, so, anyways, Buckeyes offer early playing time. All This is a call, call to all you defensive linemen out there. Early playing time in Columbus. All right. Uh, Let's talk uh, D tackle here while we're talking D line. Jaden Jackson, uh, six foot two, three hundred pounder from IMG, originally from Indianapolis. Keep that in mind. He's a Midwest guy. Uh, three star ignores ranking. He's going to get a bump, and if Larry Johnson likes him, I'm good. You don't have to explain your shit to me. Uh, so, but pay attention to this list. This is his final five he released recently. Ohio State, Texas, Oklahoma, Miami, and Florida. So, interesting list. I'm not sure how serious the Florida teams are just because he's at IMG. I don't know if they have a huge input there. So, uh, but desperately in need of depth and dudes, quality dudes at this D tackle position. Um, He's not, as, he's not as highly ranked as Justin Scott, the five-star, or, or Aiden Breeland, um, but uh, he's a top target for the Buckeyes, and this defensive tackle class is not deep as, as a whole, on the whole. This this class is not deep. Um, so this, this is a must-get. He's visited multiple times, got his offer back in January, visited uh, for the spring game this year, and uh, I got a quote here from him. He said, I've liked Ohio State ever since I was a kid. They've always been a college that shines. Them winning the championship in 2014 when I was a kid definitely piqued my interest and will likely take an official visit to Ohio State sometime this summer. Yes, you will. All right, let's talk another linebacker. Uh, Kingston Biamu Asa. I think I got it that time. 6'3", 230, the four-star from St. John's Bosco. Uh, first player offered in this 2024 class first player offered it was by you know i don't remember who offered him that might have been was that uh what's his name i don't remember no i don't think so anyways top of the board oh god damn the instant pot go, is going off I had a big ass roast in there one second it's gonna keep beeping so there we go all right enough beeping so Kingston is a top of the board player for the Buckeyes. Huge target for the last two years. Uh, they've got two two linebackers, like I talked about, with Pierce and, and Stover, but need one more. Uh, so you got Kingston, and then you got uh, our guy we already talked about here. Yeah, Sammy Brown, Mr. Moule. Um, so Kingston's coming in. He has that combination of speed and power, instincts, that make him stand out from other guys uh, coming in June 23rd to the th 25th for an official. He cut his final three down to Ohio state, Notre Dame, USC. Okay. Uh, let's talk Aaron Scott, the corner. Uh, everybody's talking about him lately. Uh, Buckeye fans are shitting bricks. Uh, you shouldn't use that language. I'm sorry. Shitting rocks. Anyways, uh, Aaron Scott, six foot, 170 pound, four star from Springfield, Ohio. Uh, Buckeyes must land a great cornerback class in this cycle. Success in this cycle means you get Aaron Scott and Bryce West to start with. That's your starting point, all right? Scott is way too good to let him go outside of the state, especially up north. Uh, Tim Walton has a serious brawl on his hands. Like, he has a fight fight, a real fight, like I'm talking – Anchorman style. Um, so you can't lose Aaron Scott to the team up north. And you got other schools chomping at the bit too. So it, we expect a decision before his senior year starts. So I'm still a, a Buckeye lean on, on Aaron Scott. 
and I, I feel good about it. So uh, let's see who else do we have here. Oh, we got uh, KJ Bolden, the safety out of Georgia, Buford, Georgia, uh, 6'1", 185, five star. Buckeyes signed three safeties in the class of 2023, but missed on Caleb Downs, the top target, of course, who looks like he's probably going to start for freaking Bama as a freshman. Unbelievable. Uh, Bolden similar, uh, KJ Bolden is similar to Brown or Downs. Um, because they both have the ability to make an immediate impact on the defense and start as freshmen. Uh, so KJ is cousins with uh, Ohio State safety coach Perry Aliano. Will that matter in the big picture? You know, I can't get inside the kid's head. I hope it would matter. Family first kind of thing, you know. But uh, you got Georgia, Bama, Clemson, everybody else in the picture. Um, landing Bolden would be massive for not just for the defense, but for the program, I feel like a, a landing Von Bell, you know, or Raekwon McMillan, you know, getting those guys to leave Georgia. It's freaking tough, man. So that would be huge. Another linebacker. I'm just kind of ping ponging around linebackers here. We got a uh, four star Georgia Oh, I'm sorry, this is a safety. I was for some reason I I get uh, Woodyard, Peyton Woodyard mixed up with somebody else that was a linebacker. I don't know. My old brain. Uh anyways, he has updated his official visit schedule and he will be visiting Ohio State June 16th to the 18th. Uh 62, 188 pounds, also out of St. John Bosco, same as uh our guy Kingston. Number four safety in the class. Buckeyes are working like hell to get a, a flip from this from a huge target. He is uh, he is committed to Georgia back in January, okay, but then visited Ohio State April twelfth before the spring game, not for it. He'll make his second trip to Columbus since committing to Georgia on his official. So uh, this will be his fifth trip to Columbus as a recruit, fifth and. Uh, Buckeyes offered him in June 2021 uh, at a recruiting camp, and he has more than 30 Division One offers. So that would be a huge. That would be that would be if you can only take one KJ Bolden or Peyton Woodyard. I don't think you can lose with either. I'll take take one of them and be perfectly happy. Uh, let's talk uh, D tackle. Dominic McKinley, five star, locks in an official visit to Ohio State. He's one of the top rated tackles in defensive tackles in the country. 6'5", 290 from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Now, keep that in your in your memory bank here. He's going to mi- visit Ohio State the first weekend of official visits in June, the second to the fourth. Uh, they offered him back in February. He has 26 Division One offers, had a huge season as a junior, 86 tackles, 18 TFLs, 10 sacks, two interceptions, and one for a touchdown. Jesus, a defensive lineman's dream. Uh, played multiple spots along the D-line as a junior. He's got other visits with Texas A&M, Oklahoma, and Texas after he visits Ohio State. So that order sometimes, you know, is, is important. We talked about that. So where's the connection, this this Baton Rouge, Louisiana kid? Bing, got it. The D-line grad assistant, Alan Clark, currently with Ohio State. This is his first season with the Buckeyes. Hired back in, I think it was January. He is the connection. He's from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Remember him? He, he trained – NFL defensive linemen like Jeffrey Simmons, Daniel Hunter, uh, Eddie Oliver. He has trained more than 50 defensive linemen in the NFL on his own. He has his own side business. So huge connection there, especially to get a five-star out of the South. We'll see what happens with that. It's hard to to convert those guys into commits. So Uh, last guy I want to talk about here, uh, four-star. Defensive end, Nigel Smith, he met with Jim Knowles this week. Uh, Knowles was visiting him and watched his practice down in Texas. Uh, He said he speaks with Ohio State a couple times a week. Um, Larry Johnson is expected to follow up and visit him next week. So uh, he didn't make it to Columbus this spring for a visit, but he's been to campus numerous times over the last few seasons, and he's still high on the Buckeyes. 
Uh, he expects to publicly announce his official visit schedule next week and um, probably after uh, Coach Johnson visits and, and they get things squared away. So, um, you know, you got Peyton Pierce, who lives like 20 minutes away, uh, openly recruiting Nigel Smith. So uh, Nigel had a, an interesting quote here. He said, uh, I love Ohio State's de development in the past and what they're doing with the guys they have now. They put, they've put they been putting people in the league for years. Coach LJ uh, has proven he can develop guys. Their defense with Coach Knowles is very attack, 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 which I love for the defensive ends. Uh, I think I'd fit in well, and they've shown me on film how I can play and how their guys play. Uh, I fit in well to their defense and would have – Built really good relationships with Coach Day, Coach Johnson, and Coach Knows. So awesome. Um, so let's uh, – I, I did want to mention Bryce West. Um, nothing new on him. Could be the next Buckeye to commit. So keep an, keep an eye – keep your eyes peeled, whatever. Keep your ear to the ground. I don't know. Keep your ear to the ground. Anyway, <laughs> strong Buckeye lean. Uh, so keep an eye out for an, a summer commitment probably after his official. And then uh, Reggie Powers, the safety, we're just waiting on him. Uh, he's taking some visits elsewhere, so just a matter of time, in my opinion. Um, so let's look at the uh, official visit schedule to finish up here. Uh, June 2nd, you got Dominic McKinley, the Louisiana D-tackle, and Florida linebacker Nicholas Rodriguez. And we're talking 24 class only here. I should, probably should tell you that. Uh, then – the weekend of June 9th, you do have a couple defensive guys mixed in here. It's a it's an offensive heavy uh, group coming in that weekend. But you got um, the Maryland defensive end Darian Hold the Mayo, Ham on Rye. Um, you got the Illinois defensive end Marquise Lightfoot, Ooh baby baby, and you got uh, the current commit uh, linebacker from Ohio, Garrett Stover. Now, June 16th to the 18th, this is all defense all the time, all official visits. Maryland defensive end Dylan Stewart, huge target. Georgia defensive end King Joseph Edwards, another big target. Georgia linebacker Sammy Brown, I don't need to tell you. Arizona corner Miles Lockhart, just a matter of time until he commits. Florida corner Charles Lester III, Chuck three sticks. Where you been, man? He said he has crystal balls to Florida State, at least one. I know that. Uh, California corner, Zabian Brown, another heavy buck, Eileen. Georgia safety, KJ Bolden, monster target. Florida safety, Jordan Johnson Rubel. California safety, Peyton Woodyard, huge target. And then Tennessee athlete, Boo, my man, Boo Carter. Then uh, to finish up here, last weekend of June 23rd to the 25th, you got. The Illinois defensive tackle, five-star Justin Scott. Uh, Maryland linebacker Jalen Harvey. California inside linebacker Kingston Mahu Asa. I almost had it that freaking time. Damn it. Um, then you got Texas linebacker and current commit Peyton Pierce. Ooh, that was two days of recruiting talk. Wow. But it's never enough, is it? You still want more, don't you? Well. Join us tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, YouTube Live. We'll talk about it. Drop in the chat. Let me know who you want who you want us to talk about. And uh, maybe we'll even pull up some video clips and uh, watch them together. All right. I'll talk to you later. Go Bucks.